My name is Julia Connor. I'm here today for focused ultrasound treatment in the hopes of uh, regaining the use of my right hand, reclaiming it from essential tremor. Um, there's a history of essential tremor in my family, although I was never affected until uh, about five years ago. Uh, the first thing I noticed was a change in my handwriting, uh, which I uh, f at first attributed to old age. This took place, I would say, in the course of six months. Uh, within two or three months more, so overall, in the course of six to nine months, I could not write at all. Within six months from that period of time, uh, it had progressed to almost all activities. Toothbrushing, eating, um, holding a cup, all of the standard measurements. Um, I, of course, tried all of the medications and although I did not have any serious side effects, I also did not have any effects uh, in terms of the tremor that were noteworthy. So um, that led me to eventually to Dr. Tierney. I will be thrilled to make a list um, to be able to write a note to someone to be able to leave a note for my husband out walking the dog. <laughs> these, these small things that we all take for granted that certainly I took for granted um, just are miracles. And if I were able to write in my journal again, to write a note to a loved one, to let them know I'm thinking of them, I will be eternally grateful. I feel uh, wonderful today. I, I slept well. Um, I feel, uh, you know, alert and um, really, I'm surprised at how well I, I seem to have uh, bounced back because I was utterly exhausted. I'm taken off guard uh, from time to time by the use of my right hand. Uh, I find myself doing something and then realizing that I'm doing it like a normal person. My writing is uh, even better than it was yesterday. Uh, it, it's a rebirth of, of sorts. Um, it's a miracle. That's really all I can say about it. The, the staff is uh, like a angelic core or something. Uh, they were wonderful, each and every one of them in their own way. Uh, you can't really relax in the physical sense of the word while this is going on, but you can relax in the spiritual sense of the word, of having utter trust of the hands that you've been put in. And it makes all the difference in the world. And I certainly had that. I had it from moment one until the very end. I have it today. I'm going to take care of myself uh, uh, every way that I can. I want this, uh, this good fortune that's come my way um, to, to last. Uh, instill hope in other people and I want to do whatever I can to make this procedure available for other people. 
it's a life changer. And uh, it's a life changer for me at 74. Imagine what it is for somebody who's 48. I'm going to hand write a note to all of the people who supported my GoFundMe campaign and send it to them. But mostly, I'm going to write away. In fact, even today, I can make a grocery list. Um, I'm just going to make lists of all kinds. Lists of people that I need to thank and lists of things I need to do and things I need to buy and things I want to remember. Uh, the loss of your predominant hand is really uh, flattening your life, making it uh, not just uncomfortable, but really impossible. You need to really want the use of your hand back. Uh, it can't be a casual thing that you'd like to have. You're going to work for it. Myself, I would certainly recommend focused ultrasound over deep brain stimulation.